Hello everybody, this is Brick, and it's time for me to show you my balls. Ah! All units, we have a code red. What? No, no, no. Don't get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about rounds. I'm talking about foam rounds. I'm talking about ones you would use with rival blasters, some adventure force blasters, uh, X shot, you know, those kinds of things. Stand down, men. Smoke them if you got them. You guys are crazy. I got to my first HVZ in 2019 during the springtime at TCNJ, and while I didn't know exactly how to prepare for it, I did have some videos that leaned into some advice for it or some kind of loadout for it, and I brought with me the rival Artemis, something I had already picked up for at least half of the retail price and I thought was a pretty cool blaster on its own merit. So that one I had a lot of fun with at the event, but with that, I brought along this, I literally bought it like the day of or the day before or something like that, and it was a very smart move. A Quest Basic Waste Pack, which was I think about $15 when it first came out, and it can be found at Dick's Sporting Goods. This was a really good option for me. It was a quick thing for me to assemble onto my loadout. It was something that was easy for me to draw from in order to refill, and it has a great capacity to it. But we're going to test out how good of a capacity it has right now for this video. So if you want to find out more about the Quest Waste Pack, you can find more information in the description down below. I will link to as best as I can for the products available for it. And at some points of the year, it might actually be lower than a $15 price point, which honestly, $15 as a loadout accessory isn't that bad given what this thing is capable of. So as a quick overview for this, it has a simple buckle, like the, the quick release buckle. So you can adjust this thing however you want. It's got plenty of length to make that happen. It's pretty comfortable once it's actually latched onto you. It's got a large pouch in the back and it's got a smaller pouch in the front. This actually has a zipper on the side of it. Some copies will have it across the front as well. I don't really find either one of them useful, especially for a hobby because yeah, you know, you're really gonna fit your hand or any ammunition inside of there and be able to use it. I feel like if I were to actually load this with ammo and pull this open, it would all just fall out. It wouldn't really be helpful. So I just stick with using the back pouch and getting as much capacity as possible out of that, which we'll be testing in today's video. So I've got a whole bin of rival rounds, adventure force rounds, maybe even one or two other kinds in here, but all of a pretty much the same uh, circumference and diameter to test out how much capacity I can get out of this thing. And then we can see how it's gonna be useful with any of the rival round or equivalent blasters that you could use for your games. So I'm gonna start by counting one to 10, and then at some point going just by increments of 10, I'll probably get a time lapse out of this because I think this will take quite some time. We're already at 100, and look at this thing. That's not, it's, there's still plenty of room in here to fit more. That's not even touching the brim. That's incredible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, fifty. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 150. There's still room left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 170. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine, 10. I forgot what I just said. Damn it. 180. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 190. I'm going to call it 190 right now. I'm going to see if this thing could actually close up. Okay. Holding it steady. So I think by that point, yeah, if you're going to reach your hand in here, it might drop a few. When I first ran this, I don't remember how many I put in there. I may have had at least 150 in there, but 190 is looking pretty good. So can this thing close up without any falling out? Yes, it can. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have to open the entire thing during a round. I'll probably open like half of it. I'd still be able to reach my hand in here and grab whatever I need. And if you really compress this thing, I guess you get at least another 10 out of it. So we will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two hundred. 200 rounds inside of here. Still closes up. I can still mush this thing around, so technically there might be room for a little bit more, but like I said before, you don't want to overfill it because you're going to still move your hand in here to grab them. So if you'll give me a moment, I'm actually going to wear this thing and see how it is trying to move back and forth with it. Let's see, I'm a 90s kid and I was in Boy Scouts, so I should be able to wear this the right way. So when I was running this at the HVZ, I had my Artemis as my primary. I'm right-handed, so my right hand would be on the trigger and my left hand would be on the pump. I'd basically be able to take my right hand off of it, open this up, open this up slightly, doesn't have to open the entire way as I mentioned before, top this off in whichever magazine that I needed to since it has an onboard internal mag, close it up, maybe put a few back if I grab too many, and still have aim on the target that I'm looking at. So for HVZ, obviously the zombies. I was on rear cover, during the second mission, which meant that I was constantly moving backward. I was still keeping an aim. I would be watching if any of them were going to charge and taking the shots wherever I needed to. And then I would come back in here and fill it back up and still watching them fill it back up and then be able to blast it again. Now, <laughs> walking backwards was not easy. I did uh, almost trip over a curb and ran into a sign at one point, but it was still a fun time and it was right before I got tagged out and then became a zombie for the rest of the event, but that'll be more for another day. So as far as the function between these two goes, I really enjoy it. It's something that was spur the moment, but made a lot of sense and is something that was easy to adapt to, easy to train with and get into the rhythm of inside of a day. I really enjoyed that. I do have the Hades, which is literally the same thing, more capacity and a stock to it so I could actually shoulder this thing. I've used it with a couple games here and there for that as well and works out very well. I'm really happy with the system for the rival. Um, I don't use rival every single time, especially in the wake of the Adventure Force Pro and a couple of other blasters out there. But I'm still making my way through it. I think it's still a good option if I did want to run Rival, then at least I know a good way to do so and a very efficient way to reload. This would also be good for other things, such as the Percy's. I mean, if I can hold 200 onboard capacity outside of the blaster itself and, you know, before attaching the uh, out of darts, you know, extra hopper onto this thing... You're talking a powerhouse. Yeah, this is a semi-auto and would definitely run through it faster, but at least I can go back through this. This might be a little bit more cumbersome though, because I'd have to hold it here or switch hands entirely to go back there and drop them in. And also be sure that I'm not moving too much that I'm just gonna, you know, drop them out of my pocket. Um, I'm sure there are other dump pouch options that people consider, and I'm sure they're also very good. But I thought it'd be fun to talk about the capacity that I could have with this one and what works for me. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time with more Nerf videos. I do have a lot that I want to talk about. I haven't gotten to um, recently because of a lot of work and holidays and things like that coming up. But I promise you, I've had a lot of things I've wanted to cover on this channel. Um, just whenever the videos happen, they happen. I apologize if it's going to be you know gaps in between. But... I have a lot of things I want to talk about because I really enjoy these hobbies still and want to give my share on how I use them and how I'm developing with them. We'll see you next time with more videos.